Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel and it is the new year guys. Like this is the first time that I'm talking to you guys in the new year. So happy new year, happy 2016, be great in 2016. Let 2016 be the best year of your life, make it count. 2015 is no longer here and yeah, so I'm super excited to talk to you guys in the new year. Um, you know, it's been like a week. But what happened to me was after the cyber video, which I totally enjoyed doing for you guys, I kind of got sick a little bit because I was in my bikini next to the water in like 12 degree weather here in Buffalo, New York, and I was a little bit out of my mind. I did not think that I was going to be able to get sick, but I got sick. But a week has gone by, I'm back and I'm better and I'm here for a story time for you guys. So I know in a couple videos back I asked you guys which story time you would like to hear from 2015 of the top 10 most terrible things that had happened to me and a lot of you guys picked something that I didn't feel like was even that good of a story so I'm definitely going to get to that story but I decided um, I'm gonna tell the story of the one that was super funny to me and I know you guys will love and that was the time that I farted in front of my crush so if you're interested in this video then do keep watching okay let's get started okay so this took place last semester and last semester was my first semester at UB and I was like, you know, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know much about the place. I was just, you know, exploring, trying new things, meeting new people, what have you. So we decided one night, me and my friends, that we were going to try out our dining hall, which was called C3. And I think it was like one of my first times going there. And like, you know, they have just a whole bunch of different foods, like ethnic foods and just a lot of things for you to try and it's kind of just like an all-you-can-eat buffet so i was like yes i'm about to try my stuff i'm about to fill out my plate i'm about to get my grub on like you said all you can eat buffet and i'm about to try it and i'm about to eat all i can eat okay so we go there and it was gyro night and i love gyros like greek food like any type of food is my kind of food but i like gyros i like greek food and i don't have like the best stomach like I'm kind of my stomach is kind of weak I'm low-key high-key lactose intolerant but like you know I don't want to acknowledge that or anything because you know I love cheese and stuff like that so I was like um I'm about to have these gyros and it was also curry night and I was about to have that too so I had gyros and curry and a whole bunch of other stuff that they had because it's just like just mad food in there like if you have mad different food and then a greedy girl come She's obviously going to try everything, so that's what I did. I tried everything, and on the gyro, I put everything on it. Sour cream, don't, it don't even matter, honestly, because it's food. Like, I'm going to eat it. It doesn't matter. I don't care about the consequences later. Like, I am just put all that crap on there because I'm eating it. So my friend's kind of like, um, are you sure you want to have all these different foods? Like, are you sure? Because she knows my stomach gets a little crazy. And I'm like, girl, stop. Like... I'm about to eat this food. So, so I ate the jars, I ate the curry, we left, and everything was good. And usually after dinner, we all go back to one of my friend's rooms and you know, we converse, we chit chat, we have girl time and whatever. So upon entering her room, we realized that her roommate had a guest over, which so happened to be like this guy that I was crushing on at the time. Um, as like company or whatever. So we are all conversing and having a good time and just talking about you know whatever whatever was going on at that time and blah blah whatever whatever so all of a sudden i feel my stomach is like you know acting weird turning a little bit differently and i'm just kind of like oh my goodness like <laughs> oh i probably should have never had those gyros and that curry because right now it's like i want to stay here but i don't think my stomach wants to stay here so <laughs> I'm just like whatever I'm gonna just clench my butt cheeks and we just gotta keep on rolling like I've been in situations like this before and I made it through so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be good it just keeps building up and building up and like I'm just like I'm trying to be focused in the conversation and be attuned to what everybody is saying but I'm like oh no like this is about to be bad like this is about to be bad and like usually if I have to like fart, like I usually my friends don't stink or they don't smell and you don't really hear them so I can kind of like you know get away with it or whatever. She lived in a triple at the time so it was like a big, a kind of big dorm room like and then there was the two, her two roommates were 
over on one side and then she was like over farther on another side so I was like okay I'm gonna just stay in her little corner and you know do a little toot toot whatever whatever between conversation and hopefully nobody will notice so I was doing that and, and everything was fine and nobody was noticing and like I kind of smelt it a little bit but I was like nah it like it'll fade before anybody really can tell because everybody else is on the far side and I'm just kind of like here by myself just you know doing my own thing over here so it was getting worse like after the third slip I was like um no like this one is not gonna be silent it's, and if it is silent it's gonna be deadly like but then it was like I couldn't make it I knew I wasn't gonna be able to make it out of the room so it was like really I had no choice but to just do the damage there and hope and pray nobody was gonna know I'm holding it holding it holding it as much as I can everybody's talking and laughing and blah blah whatever and I'm, at this point I'm kind of like sweating cuz dang like there was something really going on I laugh and it comes out but it was huge like it was huge but it was silent so it was like only I knew it was huge but and I kind of like hit it on my face a lot but I was like nah this is about to be crazy like this is really about to be crazy so I stay in the spot and I smell and it was so bad like it smelled like exactly what I ate it smelled like curry and gyro but like fermented stale weak old curry gyro like it was just out of control I was like nah they're about to smell this one like I have to get out of here like at this point my face is crazy red I'm like nah because the jig is up I done tooted and now I need to get out of here so I stayed there for a second because you know you're supposed to stay and wait and let it sit there before it like follows you or whatever but nah this fart was following me like regardless of what so I'm like I start panicking and I start looking for my keys and my stuff to go the stuff that I came there with I started looking for them so that like you know I can leave before anybody notices at this point my friend comes back over to her side and I'm like before she can even notice or whatever I'm like yo where's my keys where's my keys and she's like what da, da, da. and she like really didn't register too but then it hits her and she's like oh wait wait, wait, wait. and I'm like where's my keys you know where's my keys where's my keys da, da, da. like I'm looking for them looking for them frantically at this point and then like you know people are still having a conversation in the back so nobody notices at this time but I'm like nah I need to get out of here like I'm not about to experience this nobody's gonna know nobody needs to know that this is me like it could just be pinned on somebody else so I'm like where is my keys and this is when the waft comes into her nose and she's like oh nah 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 wait 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 and I'm like girl where's my keys like I'm trying to think maybe if I make my eyes a little bit bigger like she usually catches on and we can like you know we have that that telepathy going on where she she knows exactly what the heck is going on right now but she was just not she just did not understand at the time she was too focused on the smell that the huge elephant in the room which was my fart that's what she was focused on so she's like nah what is that smell and I'm like where's my keys where's my keys and she's like nah what is that smell though like who did that she's saying it low enough for like me to hear but then she starts like elevating her voice and she's like nah what is that smell nobody's leaving here nah 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 fuck your keys nobody's leaving here until we figure this out and I'm just like girl girl please no like no like no <laughs> wait just wait cause she knew I like this guy at the time too so I was like no come on we need to be here we need to be here and she's like nah who did that like who farted and at this time the fart is like you know going over to the other side of the room as she's inquiring about who let it out and I'm just like yo where's my keys where's my keys like I'm so embarrassed I'm like searching for it searching for it it's like she I really couldn't find it she actually grabbed my keys she found them first it was on her desk she grabs them and she's like nah everybody stay here until we figure out who the hell just farted nah it would I would be able to let it go if it was on some little crap but this this smells like this smells like just I don't even know what right now like you don't do that in somebody's room like she goes ahead and opens up the window and starts spraying her stuff and at this point she don't know she don't know who it is yet but I'm just like yo where's my keys where's my keys like oh. She um, 
the smell gets to the other side of the room and everybody's just like, what the? And they're like gagging and like, no, when I tell you, I really wish that like, I could put the smell of this fart like through the camera right now so everybody who's watching this could smell it because it was out of this world. Like think that I was the one who produced this scent out of my body. It was just like, yo, what is good with me? Like, I know there's either something wrong with me or there's something wrong with that food because this was out of control. And it was one of those farts that made like your whole stomach hurt. Like one of those farts that singe your butthole hairs as it like comes out. Like, okay, honestly, that was TMI. But I'm telling you, I just want you guys to grasp how disgusting this fart was. So, it finally reaches my crush, and he's like, he's wide-eyed, because he automatically knows by me frantically searching for my keys who it was. And I'm sitting here like, okay, so my best friend doesn't, can't understand when I need an SOS and when I need her to shut her mouth, but this, this boy right here that I have a crush on, he automatically gets it, like, why, why? So I'm like, yo, where is my keys for the last time? Like, I need to go, like, where's my key? Like, shut up, like, shut up, just stop. Like, you're embarrassing me. So she was like, she finally gets it. And she's like, yo, that was you? That was you? Then she realizes, like, oh, yo, he's in here. So she's like, oh, um, it was probably, it was probably she blamed it on, like, her roommates. And her roommate was like, nah, it wasn't me. We all know who it was. So, me, I'm the type of person that, like, when I get nervous, I, like, laugh. So I jumped down to the floor like on my knees and I'm like laughing but crying at the same time. And I'm like, no, I just wanna leave. Like, I just don't wanna be here no more. And then like, she's like, yo, that was you. That was you. Da, 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 da. She says quietly like, yo, I'm sorry. I did not know that this was you. But honestly, that was real foul. Like, you thought you could get away with that. That's out of control. Like, there is just, I'm real sorry for your loss right now but you're not getting away with this one. And I'm just like, I know, but you know, like it was it was gyro night and like, I just didn't know it was about to go down like that if I knew and then if I knew he's like, who invited him? Who invited him on gyro night? Like you did not have to do that to me. I thought it was just gonna be us girls. I had to use the bathroom, I left. Like I just left. It was, the night was over for me. I didn't want to be bothered anymore. But it's like after that whole situation, it was super awkward. Cause like me and my crush never talked about it after that it was just kind of like a, I know that you know that I know that this is never ever ever gonna work out so we just let the whole situation die at that point like my booty my booty hindered me from progressing with this boy at more than an acquaintance level he was not messing with me after this point there was no way and i knew it and he knew it so we just never visited the situation ever again i just really hope he knows that it was just that one occasion that my farts smell that bad like usually it doesn't stink so i hope that that was like a disclaimer for him but and i really hope he didn't tell anybody because that is super embarrassing but yeah that was a time where i farted in front of my crush and like it was just it was like an atomic bomb like that's it was that's how it felt coming out of my system and that's how it felt being in that room like it was just it really hit you. it took a second but once it hit you you was really out like it was done and i was just it was just super embarrassing but me and my friend we crack up every time we hear that story and like now it's like that is our code word like if i'm searching for my keys and i'm like yo where's my keys then that's the code word for like yo you got it like Yo, we need to, like, just focus on me for a second. Like, we need to be seeing eye to eye. Like, where's my keys? You know that something is up, and I need you to be right here with me. But anyway, Happy New Year, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.